Hi, how are you? Thank you for stopping in. I just ordered some stuff from Tamu. Um, last month I couldn't because they didn't deliver to Canada. And now they do, so I'm kind of excited. So what I've ordered, I actually ordered three different orders, but this is the first one. This has four um, diamond paintings in it. If I ever get into the bag, you'll see it. I have to do a voiceover because when I originally recorded this, I started sneezing so bad. It was terrible. Every now and then, I just have sneezing fits, and they just seem to go on forever. So, yeah, these aren't very big ones. Um, I think that you, if you want a diamond painting, you order the size that they have. And that's all there is to it. So, um, for the sizes that they are, I don't think the paintings are that bad. Um, I think they're square. I believe they're all square. I might be wrong, but I think they're 30 by 30. There might be one that's 30 by 40 centimeters. I don't know what that is in inches and just then when I took the scissors and went across the uh, plastic to open it because it didn't have one of those sticky openings I actually cut into the plastic cover so that wasn't good so yeah it's um I don't know I think some are square some are round um, I'm not scared of the square ones anymore. I've got that all figured out, so that's okay. As long as you use a checkerboard pattern, you're okay. So this is another Van Gogh, and um, I think that when I undid the corner, excuse me, I think that when I undid the corner and I'm pushing it back just then, I got the plastic stuck. So with this plastic, there's a good side and a bad side. And if you get the bad side, which is the side facing you onto the glue, it's really hard to get off. So fortunately, I only did that at the corner. So another little Van Gogh for me, so that's nice. Oh, and by the way, all four of these diamond paintings cost $21.65, I believe. So just over five dollars per diamond painting which is not too bad I'm I'm happy with it and this next one is it looks like flowers but it's not it's butterflies or moths I can't tell the difference but they're pretty colors so I don't care if they're butterflies or moths so this one if I can remember and they all come with a tray a little square of wax and they all come with a pen so every diamond kit well every diamond painting you buy comes as a kit so that's good um, the only bad thing is that you end up with all of these trays and all of these pans but I'm sure that I can find uses for them the trays, if you ever, you know, want to put all your colors out, you can use the trays. I would definitely put whatever the symbol is on the tray because, believe me, you will not remember all the colors. And even though it doesn't, it looks like there's five colors there, but there's the shading colors too and the background colors. So you don't want to be um, not marking your colors. So that's that's really important. Don't mark your colors, or don't not mark. Always mark your colors is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, while we're waiting to open the next package, um, uh, the other two orders. One is resin molds because I do resin in the summertime when I can do it outside, and I always wear a respirator because. I don't want to kill my lungs. Um, this one is, I think it's the Tree of Life, and I think it's a Celtic painting, but we'll see if I ever flip it over. Very nice earthly colors, so that, that makes me happy. And they've included operation instructions for doing 
It actually says operation instructions for doing the diamond paintings. And, um, yeah, flip it over, lady. Okay, here we go. My computer is kind of slow sometimes, so I'm recording this while I'm watching what I'm doing. And I'm not used to doing this at all. But, yeah, it's it's nice. It's um, very earthly colors. I'm not sure that I like the background color behind the tree, but you know what? That's what it is, so that's what we'll do. I believe this is 30 by 30 for sure. It's definitely square. And like I said, I do resin paint, resin paint, resin work sometimes, so I can probably, you know, make these into a tray or something, but they can't all just lay around being flat things you stick on your wall i've got to do something with them um have you uh, have any of you canadians out there ordered from tamu and what did you buy and and was it something extraordinary i've seen a lot of stuff on uh, tamu that i haven't really seen anywhere else but i ordered um like i said the second one i believe is resin walls the third one I ordered a winter coat, well not a winter coat, a coat with fuzzy lining and um, two tunics. I think that's all I ordered, maybe three tunics, I don't know, they were cheap. Um, I don't think I'll, I don't do, I'm not going to show anybody my clothes, I mean, but I will show you the resin molds if you're interested. Please leave a comment, let me know if you're interested in seeing the resin molds. Um, and in the summer, I will be doing some resin work and showing you that. And I promised I'd show you corking. So I, I will do that as soon as I unpack everything that I had packed and can find it again. This one I really like because of the colors. I think that's why I like Van Gogh, too. It's the blues that get me. I really love the blues. So not the blue. Well, I like the blues, too, but I like the blue color. Um, so yeah, I hope you, um, I guess that's about the end of this haul. So I hope you've really enjoyed it. I hope that you'll subscribe. Leave me a comment.